All right, uh, welcome back to another tutorial. This one's going to be about adding a meta sound to an object in your environment. So in this case, uh, we're just gonna have a look at one of these machines. I just loaded up one of the uh, demo content levels that's available uh, on the Epic Games app. So all I've done so far is enabled the meta sound plugin as well as bring in a audio file here. So what I'm going to do to start things off is just create a new meta sound. Uh, and this is just going to play back our, our sound here. So as usual, we'll go to sounds and meta sound source. So we'll call this um, ticket machine. And inside the ticket machine, uh, we're going to keep this pretty simple. First, I'm just going to get rid of this one shot here. And the reason is, is because uh, this is going to be a looping sound and we don't really need to uh, notify when the sound is finished. So first thing, I'm just going to remove that interface there. Uh, for our purposes, we'll keep it in mono. So the first thing is we'll need a wave player, of course. This should be a little bit familiar if you looked at any of my uh, intro tutorials. So I'll just use the left channel there. And finally, I'll choose the asset. So I'm just going to use this sound wave here, ambience soda syrup machine. Probably not the perfect sound for a ticket machine, but hey, this is just for an example. So let's choose that. And the idea is that when this um, meta sound is triggered, um, we're gonna play this, this asset back. So I'm just gonna put the loop on there as well to make sure that we have an, a never ending sound. So let's give it a go. Great, so plays okay. So step one, great. So we've got our meta sound uh, created. So we're just gonna go with that for the moment. So the next step is that somehow we have to attach this meta sound to the object in the environment. In this case, our ticket machine here. So we can see if we look over here in the outliner that the uh, ticket machine is a static mesh actor. And what I wanna do is uh, add what's called an audio component to this static mesh actor. So in order to enable a blueprint for this actor, there's a little button over here. Um, oops, uh, this one here converts this actor into a reusable blueprint class that can have script behavior. So the idea here is that we can start to attach behaviors or sounds or whatever it is that we need to, uh, to this individual object. So I'm just going to click this guy here. So I'm going to choose a new subclass, uh, whatever for the moment, fine. Select. So that's great. Here's my little machine here. Super. So to add a audio component to this blueprint, I'm just going to have a look here. It says add a new, adds a new component to this actor. So we're looking for audio, of course. And in fact, I can just choose this right here and it's going to select my meta sound right away. So what I've done here, we've added this audio component into this blueprint and we can see that the MS uh, ticket machine meta sound that I created has already been uh, added. So that's basically it. I mean, we will play around with the uh, attenuation settings here in a second, but let's just give it a go. I'm going to compile this, uh, save it, heck. And uh, let's give it a shot, let's see. So we do hear the sound, it's coming from somewhere, it's in the world, but we notice it just kind of seems like it's coming from everywhere, just all around us. So let's fix that. Let's make it uh, localized. So the next step here is I'm going to change those attenuation settings. So if I just go back to this little option here, edit SM ticket machine seven, and I select my audio component here, let's go down and have a look override into attenuation. Now, if I go over to the viewport, we can actually see the, uh, the sphere here for attenuation. We have the inner radius as well as the outer or the fall off distance. So let's see, we can adjust these two things here. So uh, let's just, I don't know, let's start with uh, 200 and 1500. Why not? Let's just do that. So depending on what your needs are, you might, uh, might be worth playing with maybe a logarithmic attenuation or, or otherwise, but let's just give this a go. 
So compile and save. Let's see how far away that, that fall off distance is. Maybe it's too far. It looks pretty big, huh? Let's just pull that in a little bit. We don't want it to be all encompassing the sound, so maybe a thousand. I'm not really sure of these values. We'll have to uh, we'll have to test them out. So save it, compile it, and here we go. So it's pretty silent over here. Let's just go check it out. Our machine. So as we get closer, you can see. I can move the. Uh, camera around and we get that spatialization effect going. So that's basically it. Um, of course, there's a lot more detail we can go into uh, in terms of placing uh, or, or setting up our sounds, but I just wanted to quickly demonstrate how we can attach a meta sound to an object in the world so you can start doing some of your sound design or, uh, or playing with that. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next one.